The siege of Jicheng was a part of the campaign Ma Zhao initiated in an attempt to retake Liang province after the coalition of Guanxi was defeated at the Battle of Tong Pass in the winter of 211 in the late Eastern Han Dynasty. Chapter 1 Background After the coalition melted down, Ma Zhao took the remainder of his army towards Lantian, where he could prepare a stand against Cao Cao. Unexpectedly, Su Bo in Hejian rebelled and Cao Cao decided to lead his main army to quell the uprising, sparing Ma Zhao the time to recuperate. Thus, Ma Zhao gradually regained his strength, and once again wielded great influence over local non-Han people. To resist Cao Cao, Ma Zhao had recruited many Chiang and Hu soldiers, and received reinforcements from Zhang Lu of Hanzhong. He had planned to conquer all counties in Longxi, and within a year, all cities except Jicheng in the area surrendered to the Allied force. Chapter 2 The Siege In 213, Ma Zhao started to besiege Jicheng, but it proved to be difficult. Even though the inspector of Liang province, Wei Kang, faced a large numerical disadvantage, his assistant, Yang Fu, greatly encouraged the defenders by taking the lead in protecting the city. Yang Fu recruited around 1,000 scholars and clansmen to place under the command of his cousin, Yang Yue, and he himself acted as Yang Yue's strategist. Yang Fu told Yang Yue to set up the crescent moon formation atop the city wall to counter Ma Zhao's siege and wait for reinforcements from the east. However, from the first month to the eighth month, there was no sign that a relief force was on its way, so Wei Kang sent his subordinate, Yen Wen, to sneak out under cover of darkness to get help from Xia Ho Yuan, who was stationed at Chang'an. However, Yen Wen was caught by Ma Zhao's soldiers, and Ma Zhao tried to use the respected elder to his advantage. The wall forced the captive to go to the city walls and tell the defenders that no help would come from Chang'an. However, the stubborn old man shouted, a grand force, from the east is coming, keep holding until they arrive. For this Ma Zhao asked Yen Wen whether the latter treasured his very own life, but Yen did not reply. Since Ma Zhao had been struggling to breach the city wall for a long time, he wanted to lure the influential Yen Wen to change allegiance, so he gave Yen Wen another chance, asking whether the latter knew anyone inside the city who would welcome the invaders, but the old man still remained silent. Now Ma Zhao was irritated and censured the elder venomously, causing Yen Wen to finally stand up and say, A gentleman serving a lord can die for him but not betray him, yet you desired an old man to conduct evil speeches. Am I a person who would rather live in shame? Then, a speechless Ma Zhao executed Yen Wen in rage. After witnessing the death of Yen Wen, however, both Wei Kang and the administrator of Ji Chung were terrified, and they hesitated to resist further. Although Yang Fu strongly opposed surrender, Wei Kang opened the city gates and let Ma Zhao in. Once Ma Zhao got inside the fortress city, he arrested Yang Yue, and asked Zhang Lu's officer, Yang Anj, to murder Wei Kang and the administrator of Ji Chung. Chapter 3 Aftermath At the beginning of the siege, Cao Cao was fighting Sun Quan in Rukshuku, and after he returned to the city of Yi, he was busy launching the establishment of the Principality of Cao Wei. Therefore, he was too occupied to send reinforcements, and only in the eighth month did he let Xia Ho Yuan lead a relief force to Jicheng. Not knowing the city had already fallen, Xia Ho Yuan's unit ran into that of Ma Zhao's 200 li outside of Jicheng, where Xia Ho was defeated. Such a victory greatly impressed Qianwen, leader of the Di tribe, so the latter allied with Ma Zhao, who now named himself general who conquers the west and governor of Bing province. By conquering Jicheng, Ma Zhao had gained a base from which to command the majority of Liang province and exert influence around the area. However, Ma Zhao's success would not last long, as Yang Fu contacted some former officers of Wei Kang to rebel against Ma Zhao simultaneously in the ninth month of 213. At the end, Ma Zhao, Pang De, and his cousin Ma Dai fled Liang province and took refuge under Zhang Lu. Chapter 4, 
in popular culture. The siege on Ji Chung is featured in Koei's video game Dynasty Warriors 5, Extreme Legends and is called Battle of Ji Castle.